Um, as I've already said, email as a meeting is something that can happen. So if you accidentally have a circumstance where one member of the uh, budget committee sends an email to every other member of the budget committee saying, you know, I think that particular uh, purchase that the select board was talking about at the last meeting should have been a subject of an RFP or some kind of public bidding process, you now have uh, a potentially illegal public, non-public session, a public session of a meeting or that's not available for the public to attend, but it's the action the, the action of the board is happening by email. So what we always encourage you to do, if for some reason you're going to have a discussion that has to be transmitted to the whole board, it's done by staff. The staff sends it out to all the members of the board so that it, it appears as if the Probably email has gone through the, with the, the blind CC section of the, of the email. You don't send it to everyone so everyone can see their email. You just send it so that only the individual thinks they receive it. And so if the person hits reply all, which is the most dangerous button as far as I'm concerned <laughs> in your email systems, uh, they don't doesn't get sent out to all the members of the budget committee. So um, it's an area that, to be cautious about and we encourage the spoke and the wheel system. So you have a spoke, uh, is the, uh, the town hall, town administrator, the secretary to the board that sends an email out to everybody else and the communication only goes back to her, not to everyone else. And that avoids that you know, illegal sequential communication process. 